Hi, welcome back to our channel with me Wahyu or you can simply call me Sam. In this video I will show you how to design this thing. It's a bolt and nut, a 3D printable one and we'll design this using Design Spark Mechanical. One of the important thing in designing a 3D printable bolt and nut is the allowance because 3D printed thing will have texture on it and also seam line which is the point where the nozzle start and ends and it will create a small bump so we must consider the allowance so that the nut can move freely like this in this video i will make a 24 mm bolt with 2 mm pitch or it should be the standard 24 with a fine pitch standard okay we will open the design spark mechanical file new design First, I will make a circle with 24 mm diameter, so I will type in 24, okay, zoom in, and then I will click this one, the offset curve, so I will going to make a 2 mm pitch, meaning that I will need 2 mm uh, space, like this one, so I will click after the distance from this outer uh, circle is 2 mm okay and then i will also add another thickness for this outer diameter so let's put three millimeters okay and then i will click select let's see and then this one 3d mode okay this will be the inner uh cylinder which we will adjust or we will edit to become the bolt and this one will be the nut so now we'll pull this inner diameter or inner circle and then uh, I will pull by in this case I'm going to input 35 millimeters okay and then for this one the outer I will pull by 10 millimeters okay now we have this basic shape but of course this is still way far from the result I will click at this uh, axis and then click this one the section mode or you can also press x and now i will press v so it will show the uh, view from that cross section mode okay and we will draw the shape that we will use to make the pitch and to do that i will click this one line so we are going to make a two millimeter pitch and um I will show the calculation at the description but for now please just follow this one so for the pitch or the thread I will start by the outer one I'll zoom in here we will have the root flank and crest okay the root will be uh, at this design I'm going to use 0 0.4 I'll type in 0 0.4 here okay and then for the flank it's going to be 1.4 with 120 degrees or actually it's going to be 60 degrees at this uh, angle but it's the same thing so I will input here 1.4 and then for the crest it will be 0 0.2 so I will uh, draw here 0.2 I type in 0.2 okay and then from this one I will go here 120 degrees and with the length 1.4 okay and I will use this one rectangle and draw a rectangle here and then uh, click select and this will be the shape that we use for the outer uh, ring or actually it's going to be an inner thread for the nut and then uh, after that I will draw for the uh, bolt so to do that we are going to use the same uh, numbers so we will start by clicking this one line okay I will start from this uh, point and type in 0 
and then I will move from that point here 120 degrees and the length is 1.4 so I will type in the length first and then okay it's already the right degree and then I'll press enter and then from here I will uh, make 0.2 millimeters for the crest enter and then here I will uh, put 1.4 millimeters for the flank I will press enter okay and then after that i will click this one rectangle and add shape right here okay now let me hide these two solids so let me rename it so this will be the bolt and this outer solid will be the nut okay let me hide these two solids and then click this one the 3d mode so now we have these two shapes that we are going to use to make the thread. This surface is not needed anymore, so I will delete this one. Okay, and then for this shape, I will delete this line. So I'm clicking here and then press delete. This one also, click here and press delete. So we have this basic shape for the thread. Now we will continue with uh, pull or extrude the thread for the bolt. So I will show or unhide the bolt design or solid okay and then I will hide this surface that I'm not going to use okay so now we have this uh, surface and I will click this one pull and then this one revolve and I will click here at the axis okay and then press add this one and then revolve helix it will show this one height pitch taper and so on i will click in the pitch and enter two because uh, this is going to be a two millimeters pitch uh, thread press enter and then i will click at this surface and move this uh, shape so i will zoom out a little okay and then i will click here and pull okay and then I click this one select so we have this uh, shape here we have this bolt and maybe you want to cut this uh, how to say this unused portion at the top so I'll just going to click here and click this one split body it will split this solid and we can delete this one okay right now we have this bolt without head we will add later on now we are going to design the nut so I'm going to hide the bolt and unhide the nut and also the surface that we are going to design for the nut okay I'm clicking this surface and I will move this surface a bit uh, to this direction uh, four millimeters okay and then I will click this one pull and then I will click this one revolve and then click this axis okay and then click this one add and revolve helix again uh, the pitch is already two millimeters so it's good to go now I will pull this one up and it will create a thread there now again I will cut this unnecessary portion so I will click here and then click split body okay now I have this portion which is unneeded and then uh, again I will click split body and sorry click this surface and click split body okay I will have this one not needed okay now we have the basic for the bolt and nut anyway um, this is still a very basic shape so I will add a hexagonal uh, shape for both so first let me add one for the bolt so I will click here and then add one millimeters for the length okay and then I will click here the polygon 
uh, tool or icon and then click at the center and move at this point I will input 35 okay and then click select and it's already good I'm clicking this one 3d mode and I will press control and click here and here so these two surfaces okay and then click pull and I'll drag by uh, 10 millimeters or I will type in 10 millimeters so it will become like this so we already made the bolt and one simple touch uh, click here and then click pull and then click this one the chamfer uh, it's better to make this corner more how to say more chamfered wait okay I will type in one okay and then next for the uh, nut we are going to do the similar thing so I will hide the bolt and then click for the solid of the nut I will click here and then click this one polygon and make a hexagonal uh, shape here and input or type in 35 okay I will click this one 3d mode so now we have this surface I will click here and then already pull mode and then uh, click this one add I will press U or you can also click this one up to and then I will click here so now we have this uh, nut next I will uh, delete this one surface this is not necessary anymore so I will delete yes now we have the bolt and nut so uh, next we will check the allowance for uh, this two components or two solid so I will click this axis and then click this one the section mode okay I'll press V and this is it this is how it looks like inside of the uh, nut so uh, this is the distance or the allowance between the nut and the bolt so it's about 0.8 millimeters and then for this uh, area it's about 0.4 and it works fine with my printer I'm using a, a 0.4 millimeter nozzle and 0.2 layer height okay and then for the finishing touch we click this one to remote and then add chamfer here so I will uh, click this one chamfer and add so now you can export one by one so uh, sorry let me rename this one will be the nut so we can export one by one first uh, export the bolt becoming an STL file Okay, and then next we hide the bolt and export the nut becoming an STL file and then move on to Cura to uh, slice and then print this design works well for me but as you know that different slicer setting and also different printer might have different result so in that case I suggest you can test print first before maybe if you want to print five or ten of these if you have any question or suggestion please put in the comment below don't forget to subscribe i'll see you again in the next video stay safe and have fun bye